As the coronavirus continues to spread, so does false information. And tonight, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us to separate fact from fiction. Dr. Nandy, we appreciate you being here on the front lines with us. We're going to start with ibuprofen. If you're infected with the coronavirus, can anti-inflammatory painkillers make it worse? So, Glenda, I can understand the concern since this advice was actually suggested by France's health minister who said that anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen can aggravate the infection. But there's really no data or evidence to back this up. So right now, there's no reason to avoid ibuprofen as long as you're using it temporarily. If you use it long term, however, you need to be aware that it's not risk-free, that you could end up with health issues like kidney damage, intestinal bleeding, and cardiovascular problems. So you got to be safe about using it as well. Mm -hmm. You know, Doc, there's been an email that's been passed around saying that gargling with salt water can actually kill the virus. I've seen that. And also, deep breathing means you're not infected. That advice supposedly from Stanford University. Is there any truth to that? I can tell you absolutely that it's not from Stanford University. Unfortunately, it's just more crap and misinformation being passed around. So let me be direct about it. Taking a deep breath and holding it for 10 seconds is not a way to check to see if, if there's a virus in your lungs. There are folks who won't be able to do this, and it's not because they have the coronavirus. It's more likely that they have other health conditions like asthma or heart disease. Now, as for gargling with salt water, no, this will not protect you from getting COVID-19. Neither will drinking hot liquids or sipping water every 50 minutes. It's really more important to focus on the facts and that what everyone can actually do to spread, uh, to stop the spread of the virus, like washing your hands, often clean, clean and disinfect, practice social distancing, and stay at home as much as possible, especially if you're ill. Last question, Dr. Nandy. What about taking vitamins or even vitamin C supplements? Can that help prevent you from getting it? So, Glenn, I get, get this asked all the time, and the answer is still no. There's no evidence that suggests that vitamin C supplements will protect you against the coronavirus. Now, I'm not saying that vitamin C is not important for your body. It absolutely is. It's an antioxidant that we need for immune function. So you do want to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin C in your diet. And speaking of food, I believe that food is medicine. And now is the time to cut back on all the crappy food, the processed foods, the added sugars. Focus on healthy whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and healthy fats. Food is the best medicine to get the nutrients you need to support your immune system, along with getting six to eight hours of sleep, along with everything we talked about. Please do that because we can beat this, this whole coronavirus crisis if we do those. Thank you, Dr. Nandy. You do say that quite often about food and, and what it does for you. We appreciate your information. If you have a question or health concern about coronavirus, the good doctor here for you, email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.